guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna talk about Tasha K. Um and her losing followers. Now, this comes after all of this situation happened with her and Cardi B. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go back and watch my previous video about it. But um for some reason I was like, let me go check her um YouTube channel and see how this whole situation affected her. Cause to me I feel like it kind of made her more popular because people who didn't know her before know her now. Because of the whole situation with Cardi, because Cardi B is involved, and you know Cardi B is more popular than her, so this story went viral of them being in court. So I felt like she was gaining popularity for good or bad reasons, whatever it is. More people know Tasha K now than they did before she um, had this whole fallout with Cardi B and being in court. I just feel like the court made people more aware of who she was, whether it was a good thing or bad thing. So I was like, let me go check her channel. Now, when I did my previous video of her just a couple of weeks ago, when after that whole thing came out at Cardi B One, she was at her million subscribers, and she had this whole thing um, about her subscribers. They did a whole um, congratulations and one million subscribers, and I go check now. She's six thousand under. Now that's not a huge deal especially for somebody who got a million followers there's six thousand that unsubscribed from her channel like it probably wouldn't like like if it was a hundred thousand people who who unsubscribed that would be completely different from uh you know just six thousand people but if you also notice she have deleted some of those videos and i'm assuming the videos that was deleted is the videos of her um talking bad about cardi b so not only that, I'm wondering, like, when she hit a million subscribers again, do you just ignore the fact that you went under a million and then you went back up to a million? Like, do you say congratulations again? Like, I, I don't really know how this works because, you know, I, I ain't up there with the subscriber count. So I'm just curious to know. Like, do you just ignore it and act like it just never happened? Because I'm like... Dang, now she's not even at a million subscribers anymore. Is she gonna do a whole wino game? We did it up, but once you did you do it once, you just say forget it and you move on. But I think that's crazy. Um I I know and I'm assuming that's why some YouTubers when they hit a million, they don't really say nothing. They wait till it gets to like one point one million or like um you know, like get a little bit up there because you don't want to get to a million and you might have people that's being petty that just don't want to see you reach a million and you do it a million exactly and then they unsubscribe so you can go down so you won't be at a million just because you know people can be petty like that but in her situation i don't think that's the case i think she just receives a lot of bad backlash from that um lawsuit with cardi b because a lot of things that came out it came out that she I mean, well, I saw the video where she admitted that the thing she said on Cardi B, she knew it was a lie. Now, as a blogger, like I was saying in the previous video, how do you take anything she done for the truth? Now, I see now she don't really do a whole lot of, uh, um, when I was looking at her channel, she don't do a whole lot of lives, videos like she used to. It seemed like she's releasing those videos that's probably on her website or maybe that the members in her app or whoever get to see. I feel like she's um releasing those exclusive videos now on her YouTube channel to kind of let the the like to let the the backlash kind of die down. So she's releasing those videos instead of coming on and doing live um videos and talking mess like she would normally do. So I can see that, but I don't know. I just found that kind of crazy. Like now she's under her um a million subscribers and on her other youtube channel it don't seem to be affected that much um i'll put it backwards but it seemed like she only lost about a thousand uh subscribers on the other one so you know it don't seem like it's really that i mean not a thousand probably like a hundred subscribers or so on her other uh youtube channel so it don't really seem to be affecting that channel that much but people probably Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why I'm yawning. But people probably don't um even be on that YouTube channel that much. But I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. Do y'all think the thing with Cardi B hurt her career? Or you know, it seems as 
if you look at the subscriber count, you would think it hurt her career. But with all the publicity and all the exposure she gotten from this lawsuit, and I think she's appealing this, so it's probably going to be a big story again. Do you think she's going to have more opportunities come in? Or do you think that, you know, maybe not so much? Because it's kind of, I'm like, mm, I really can't believe that people are unsubscribing from her channel. Because if y'all been watching her for this long and she's been talking the way she, I have seen her talk in some videos. I remember the first time somebody even told me about her channel and I went over to watch it. I just didn't, I just, just didn't like the way she speak about the people like it's okay to report news but i don't think you have to dog and drag somebody in order to do so like it's 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 like i don't like i don't have to <laughs> if i don't like something like a kardashian did i don't have to get on my my um platform and be like that big blank the blank this old ugly nose other you know ugly hand having you know i don't have to do all of that just to report the news like, all you have to do is just talk about the situation and move on. I really don't feel like I have to just what we people call drag folks in order to say what they did. <laughs> because what they did within itself, if it's that bad, if, if it's that bad, it should drag them without you having to add extra on it. But I guess that's the, you know, that's the that YouTube world or whatever. So, y'all yeah, let me know what y'all think about this whole situation down in the comments. That's all I got to say about it. I'm out. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this video. I just popped in to say, make sure you head on over to freedomapparel.com. I have t-shirts, protect your energy t-shirts, it's the melanin t-shirts, and my Freedom Apparel logo t-shirts and many more. I also have fanny packs, and I also have masks to match the t-shirts. If you find anything interesting, the link will be in the description box below. So, let's get right back into the video.